Let's talk about the NBA playoffs. So we're going to do a little bit of a breakdown with this and why maybe the NBA might be rigged. And let me just do a little explanation. Thought I could flip my camera around, but we'll just do it like this. Okay, so you take this Celtics, right? Celtics, arguably the best team in the league this year. 2024 playoffs. They beat the Cavs. Darius Garland looks like a piece of shit during the whole series. Donovan Mitchell gets injured with two games left, and they beat the, the Cavaliers um, 4-1. You get down to the Knicks and the Pacers. Uh, I forget. Somebody went up in this series 2-0. I forget who it was. or it was No, it was definitely 2-0 because this was the series that went 1-1. But it's 3-2, 3-2, and this one was 3-2, and the Timberwolves, as you saw earlier, just blew the fuck out of the Nuggets, and it wasn't even close. They beat them by, like, 45. Um... The reason why I think this might be rigged and somebody else was talking about it was strictly because of this game that happened tonight. Well, I'm going to go ahead and basically explain why I think it's rigged. And the reason being is it centers around these two teams right here, the Knicks and the Mavericks. So, of course, Celtics, arguably the most toxic fan base in all of sports and all of the NBA. The Knicks, the second most toxic fan base. Um, the Knicks go ahead and they beat the Pacers, right? They move on. You have the two most toxic fan bases go at it in the East for uh, Eastern Conference Championship. For this one, arguably, you have Dallas move on and you have the Nuggets beat the Timberwolves. Why? You have the two best white players in the league. Everybody wants to see a matchup between Luka and Jokic, who is the best player in the league right now. And it's going to be between those two. Anthony Edwards is up there, but I don't think he's ready, right? I don't think he's ready to become that face. Maybe give him two seasons and he will be. But the reason I say this is because um, the Nuggets are repeating. They are looking to go back to back. What better way than to have the Mavericks, even though the Thunder is the one seed? I don't think the Thunder is ready yet. Give them two years and maybe they push for a championship. Or maybe they push for it next year. They're just too young. They're not ready. So, Luka and Kyrie are on the Mavericks. Who's on this Knicks team? Think about it. Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson used to be on the Mavericks. He and Luka were best friends while they were on the Mavericks. Kyrie is on the Mavericks. Who was Kyrie supposed to go to besides the Brooklyn Nets? It was supposed to be the New York Knicks. He was supposed to go to the Knicks with Kevin Durant over the Nets, but they chose to go to the Nets instead because they said, fuck the Knicks and fuck New York, basically. So they went to Brooklyn, right? So have those two meet up in the finals, and you could sit there and have it go to a Game 7 where either Luka hits a shot over Brunson or Brunson hits a shot over Luka or Kyrie hits a shot to silence the entire Knicks and you have the Dallas Mavericks win. Or you could have the Knicks win. Now, you could also do it with the Mavericks, and I think the Mavericks are the key team to make the finals this year. You can have the Mavericks go ahead and play the Celtics. Where did Kyrie used to play for? The Boston Celtics. Who does the Boston Celtics hate most as the player? Kyrie. So why not have the most toxic fan base in all of sports, besides like the Philadelphia Eagles, go up against the P the person they hate the most because he lied to them against Kyrie Irving. And if either of those matchups happen, the Knicks one is more far-fetched than the Celtics one because the Celtics are the best team. If the Knicks go ahead and it goes... Mavericks and Knicks NBA Finals, I'm telling you, that shit is rigged, and it's going to Game 7. It's either Game 6 or Game 7, and somebody's hitting the game winner. But I just wanted to do a little bit of breakdown, because I saw people talking about like this game being rigged, this most recent one, and I even hear Wuss fans said that it was. I mean, every single game in this series has been basically a blowout, so I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think.